Ask Reddit. What job exists because we are stupid? I had a temp job in a posh department store a few years ago. The escalator going down from floor 2 to floor 1 had to be taken out to be replaced which took a month. Despite the many, many notices and the signs directing people to the lifts and stairs, a member of staff had to stand at the top of the closed escalator just to direct the public to the lifts and stairs. It broke people's brains and it was worrying to see how many tried to get past the barriers, or got pissed and shouty because there was no escalator. Like holy it how did people cope before moving stairs were invented. <laughs> Met a guy once. His job was putting dirt on potatoes. Somebody along the supply chain washed them pretty well by the time they got to the grocery. People didn't trust the clean potatoes. So one guy had to put dirt back on them to make them more authentic. <laughs> My husband is a labor and employment attorney for a massive company and gives monthly seminars to everyone there to not send lick pics sexually harass one another. And like clockwork someone in that room does it within a couple weeks. Alright guys it's me again. Nothing changed since last week. Your lick should stay in your pants. Nobody wants to see it. That includes texts, Snapchat, Instagram, email, regular mail. And I can't believe I have to say this but it's a new week. A fax isn't cool either. Just because I didn't mention it doesn't mean it's okay. All the jobs at MLM companies. Instagram ladies selling flat tummy tees with entrepreneur written in your bio. I am looking at you. Edit. To give a little context. This one friend tried to aggressively push some Herbalife products at me and told me I would look much better after losing some weight. FFS my BMI is around 19. I ain't even overweight let alone obese. Even though she knew I was a doctor, this dumbass still tried to peddle her alternative teas to me, acting like there were some secret concoctions of a Nazi scientist that the US gov didn't want anyone to come across. It's not just the people who buy this kind of stuff who are stupid. The people selling them are a special breed of imbeciles as well. Hey hun. Look. I know we haven't talked since kindergarten but I'm sorry you're duped into thinking that 9-5 grind for someone else is where it's at. But I'm my own boss. I set my own hours. And I get paid every 10 seconds. Can you say that dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign why waiting 2 weeks for a livable paycheck? You can join my team of boss babes but I only have 2 spots open so take this opportunity while you can. Yeah it's a lot upfront cost, but invest in your wealth. You're worth it. I support my family by selling all natural, crystal based, arsenic infused face cream and even if you don't want to rock that mompreneur lifestyle, you should def think about checking out our line of products. I seen your pics. You could def use them. And def buy from me. My garage is super full of scientifically unproven garbage and my fam and friends won't talk to me anymore. <laughs> On crowded nights. Disney Springs has employees working at crosswalks at the intersections from the overflow parking lot to tell people when they can cross. They're normal intersections that have lights telling you when you can cross. People just don't acknowledge them and will try to run across oncoming traffic. The companies that get you out of timeshares. The worst part is that most of those are absolute scams too. Edit. Didn't expect this to get as many responses as it did. Broad answer to questions comments. Timeshares are not scams for the most part. It's just a very different way of travel and doesn't work for everyone. Not all resales are bad. It just happens to be another industry that has more than its fair share of scammers. Be extremely cautious with resale and do your homework. Source. Worked in operations management for timeshare companies for about a decade. I'm picturing the same guy that sold the timeshare slapping on a fake mustache and handing you his get out of your timeshare business card. I'm a self-serve gas station attendant. Honestly, the only reason I'm here is to slap the emergency stop button if someone starts pumping gas outside their car gas can. Oh, and shut off the pumps when I leave. <laughs> Tier 1 IT support. Did you try turning it off and on again? Sure you did. Could you blow into the cable to make sure there is no dust in the Kaneko the cable was loose? How surprising. Have a good day. Oh. This was two weeks ago. I don't remember. My laptop is at home. I'm currently driving my car. <laughs> Meth lab cleaners. It's pretty sad to see how much this industry is growing in Australia. <laughs> my job. Financial advisor. Save money for retirement. At least 10% of what you earn. Gross. In an IRA or employer sponsored plan. Put it in growth mutual funds or ETFs. 
And don't touch it until you're satisfied you have enough there to live on no more than 4-5% of the balance per year for the rest of your life. Don't consider individual stocks with this money. Establish a basic budget based on your post-retirement savings income and current expenses. Do not spend more than you bring in on a regular basis. Save a little after tax money from every paycheck in an FDIC insured savings account. This is your emergency fund. Don't touch it if you're not in financial dire straits. Once you have at least 3 months of expenses covered by that emergency account, keep saving the money, but flow it to another investment vehicle, such as stocks, bonds, CDs, treasuries, real estate, precious metals whatever you are comfortable with depending on your goals and risk tolerance that can at least hold value, if not grow it. This is your savings for home, car, vacation, and other major purchases, with the possible exceptions of purchasing a home or borrowing for education that will actually pay for itself. Don't take on debt. Pay off your credit cards monthly. Pay your bills on time. If you can't follow the above, take a hard look at your lifestyle. Either find a way to earn more money, spend less money, or both. Second jobs are sometimes necessary, or many people just need to eat out less, go to bars less, drive a cheaper car or downgrade their living situation. Don't give in trying to impress others or looking good on social media. Just do you. I have a side gig doing data entry. I earn $25 USDHR copying and pasting stuff from a web page into an Excel spreadsheet while doing some light formatting. Traffic police in Baltimore. I was there this summer and the gridlock was atrocious. People push their way into the intersection. The light turns red, and they are stuck there until the light is about to turn red in the opposite direction. At which point those people push their way into the intersection and the cycle perpetuates. During rush hour, they have police standing in the intersections, not to direct traffic, though, simply to hold their hand up when the light turns red so that people don't push their way into the intersection. Basically, a human has to stand in traffic for hours just to tell the drivers what the lights mean. It was unbelievable. Psychic detectives. Because why trust a professional detective to be intuitive? At my university we have a person whose job is to stand by the garbage area and make sure people dispose of their trash appropriately. My school had a massive issue with recycling getting contaminated. It got so bad at one point that the company refused to take their recycling for a few months. They decided to redesign all the bins to make it super clear what you can and can't recycle. And the recycling bins are always next to a trash can so it's never more work to recycle. People still throw food and trash in the recycling bins and vice versa. Safety manager here. A big portion of my job is saying stuff like please don't smoke near this flammable liquid or other things most of us take for granted that people already know. Litter control personnel for public parks and beaches. I remember when I was a kid my mom used to take my brother and I to this park across town. One time I had a wrapper from a piece of gum in my pocket and I walked to the trash to throw it away. A police officer happened to be just patrolling the parking lot and saw me throw the wrapper away. He came over to me and told me I did a good job by doing that and he gave me a coupon for a free ice cream at the DQ. I told him I was just doing what I thought everyone else was doing. He told me that wasn't the case. I don't get how hard it is to just throw something in the trash. Gossip column journalists and paparazzi. How else will I know what celebrity is wearing while off of work? The guys who install rubber padding around telephone and light poles so when we walk and text, we don't break our noses walking straight into them. Watched a woman stop halfway across a crosswalk in a busy intersection to text, oblivious to everything until cars started honking, and then she flipped them off. Ticket companies that sell you tickets from ticket companies that sell you tickets. No, those exist because people are greedy. Any limited resource will immediately be hoarded and resold at a premium. Fortnite coaches. Lies this isn't real this can't be real. Edit. I have been getting a lot of comments and I feel like a lot of people misinterpreted me. I meant this as a joke first because you know how everyone hates Fortnite. I personally love video games and seeing this is amazing to me. I totally support it. Rag pikers and road garbage cleaners. In the middle ages, garbage men would come around and buy your household trash, including excreta, because it made valuable fertilizer. I'm not sure this matters much but I saw a vague relation and thought I'd impart some historical perspective. 
It's service help desk. My job exists because of stupid and let me give you a pro tip about computers. Computers don't break because they don't do what you tell them to. Computers break because they do exactly what you tell them to.